Hey everyone, today's video is about a package that was sent to me by Tarte. I was so excited when Tarte reached out to me a few weeks ago because this is a brand that I've really not had a lot of experience with and I thought this was a great opportunity that just literally fell into my lap to learn more about the brand and play with the products. And you can too because today it is being offered on QVC as their today special value. So everything that I'm gonna show you is priced at $59.96. Um, I don't, I think it's originally, I think if you bought it all separately, it's closer to $200. So it's a really good, um, it's a really good value for money. And I, I just want to state again, these products were sent to me to review, but I am not being paid in any way for uh, this video. So let's get on with it. So the star of the show and something I would have never tried if left to my own devices is their foundation. And it's the new Tarte Maracuja Miracle. And it's called a found sealer because it's, a very lightweight feel on the skin, but its coverage is medium, I'd say, to full buildable, so you almost don't need, it's a foundation and concealer in one. What's really interesting about this is the delivery system, which um, I would recommend not having newly moisturized hands when you try this, because I did um, have some issues holding, <laughs> holding the cap when my hands were overly greasy, but it has a stopper at the top, and it's basically a giant eyedropper type delivery system and so you just have to push it down first and then release and then it'll when you you I the way I've been using it is I just drop the drops on the back of my hand and this is the okay this is the oddest foundation I initially when I first put it on I'm wearing it all right now when I first put it on I felt like the coverage was not enough I like a good medium foundation medium coverage medium to full. Within about 10-15 minutes of it sitting on my face, of, of which it feels absolutely weightless, which is another unique thing for me, it sort of sinks into the skin and provides more coverage than the initial application. It wears well, which um, was kind of a new concept for me. So what I have been doing when I'm using it is I do the full pump, which is about two, three drops on the back of my hand, and I use the brush that came with it. This is, I wanna make sure I'm getting this right, it's the found sealer brush and it's a sort of a beveled edge. It's so soft, I love it. I use it with um, other foundations. It doesn't absorb the product, it just smooths it over the face. It's very, it just, it's very soft. It's very, it's very soothing to just rub it all over your face, but it's, it works best if it has foundation with it. Um, so I blend this in. I like that it has this beveled edge so I can get into the crooks and crannies and angles of my face. I even use it um, if I, I do go ahead and put under eye concealer on because I'm tired and I need all the extra help I can get, and I use that to blend in my concealer as well. But after I've put it all on, I wait a little bit, I go on to doing my eye makeup, and then I decide if I need a little more coverage. And generally because of the acne pigmentation that I have right here, I just do another drop and just kind of dot it with my finger on and then blend it again. The coverage on this is amazing. Now I have dry skin. I will say that while I like this, I like the consistency and I like the coverage, and I've been wearing this a lot in the last few weeks in vlog videos, and some of you have mentioned that my foundation is pretty, but I couldn't tell you what it was yet. I was wearing this. Um, I think that this is ideal for combination skin or even oily skin because it is a drier finish while still glowing. And I think that's because it has that maracuja oil in it. I could be wrong, but I do feel like there's a glow even though I, it's a semi-matte finish. So I think this is very wearable. If you have very dry skin, I would just say moisturize a lot before you slap this on. It, um, and it wears well all day long. I really didn't see it wearing oddly throughout the day and um, it layers well under, you know, I have bronzer and blush and all that other stuff on, but I feel like it looks very natural and um, I, I'm really enjoying that. Now, something else that I really enjoyed in this, which I've mentioned in my favorites video for January, is the mascara. The mascara is not new. It's in a limited edition packaging with this pretty mosaic pattern on the lid or the cap, and it's the Tarte Gifted Mascara. Many of you commented that you really liked how it looked on my lashes in my last few videos. I really like this. I like this better than the Tarte, the other one. Lights, cameras, lashes, I think it is. It doesn't flake on me. My lashes are separated, they're volumized. I wear it top and bottom. I don't get smudges underneath. And what I always appreciate at the end of the day, it's very easy to get off. Just, you know, my usual facial cleanser, water, and off it comes. And I don't wake up in the morning with the leftover raccoon stuff going on cannot stand that in a mascara, so I appreciate it. 
I think another standout, they're all, all the products are wonderful, but another standout um, is the eyeshadow. Well, it's more than just an eyeshadow palette. This is the limited edition, I'm referring to my notes so I give you all the right information, Amazonian Clay Eye and Cheek Palette, and it came with this double-ended brush. Um, I'll start with the brush. Um, I really like it. I, this is the only brush I used for the whole eye shadow look you're seeing here. I have been playing with these shadows a lot. It comes in this beautiful mosaic case. And this is very travel friendly. If you're a cool town, if you enjoy cool toned eyeshadows, you're gonna really enjoy this, this set. It does come with a huge mirror, which is handy for traveling. And then I'm holding it upside down. It comes with six shadows and a big old blush in the middle. And I have played around with this extensively. I have used this wearing all six shades. I have used this wearing just one shade or two shades. I'm wearing all of, well, am I wearing all of the shades? I'm wearing all but one. I'm not wearing this one, but they're very blendable. They're very creamy. They wear nicely. There is fallout, so just go ahead and tap your brush before you put it on your eye. I find that with the more pigmented and higher quality shadows, it tends to be a little more fallout. That's just my personal opinion. So I've really enjoyed that. I usually don't wear cool tone colors. This is a new look for me, so let me know what you think, if you prefer me in cool or warm toned. My personal preference is warm, but this is growing on me. I think it's nice that they balance it out with a warmer tone blush, so I don't feel like it's all just, there's a nice, there's a nice balance going on. And then lastly, they have this lip gloss, which has the pretty mosaic um, packaging as well. And this is in the shade, what is this called? It's the Lip Surgeon's Lip Shine. It's a limited shade called Exquisite. And I think it is. Again, it's not, it's more, I think a, a deeper tone, but it's, my hair is sticking in it, I'm sorry. But it's, um, kind of a warmth to it, so the whole thing balances out. I, I think the whole thing goes together. And I think, I don't want to say I have a favorite, but I'm a sucker for packaging and fun bags. It comes with this bag. <laughs> and I know that this is not a reason to buy the whole set, but I am traveling soon, and I this is what I'm using for my makeup bag. I love that it has this sort of rustic feel, but it has, can you see the sheen? Isn't it pretty? And then in the inside, it's this really pretty purple, you know, vinyl, easily washable or wipe downable material. So like I said, this whole thing is available on QVC today only is what I've been told, February 13th for this price. It may be available after that. I'm not sure you'll have to check, but they've given me a link to get to it, which is not an affiliate link. This is all for your information only. And that is in the description box below. Um, some other stuff I learned about Tarte that I didn't know, it's cruelty free, it's paraben free, it's mineral oil free, and it's gluten free. I didn't, I wasn't aware that gluten was, I thought it was just something you had to worry about eating, but I guess there are some people who are really intolerant to gluten. So if you have any allergies or cruelty issues, or, it just ticks a lot of boxes. So I think it's a really neat company. So I think this is a great way to learn a lot about the brand in a, in a little bundle, you get a lot for six, less than $60. You get a foundation with a built-in concealer, you get the mascara, you get the lip gloss, you get a blush, you get six eyeshadows, two brushes, really three, because this has two ends to it. Not a bad deal. Did I mention the mascara? I can't remember. They're all great products. I've really enjoyed um, using them over the last few weeks. I'll continue to wear them quite a bit. Um, like I said, I'm new to the brand Tarte. Really, I've only played with their mascaras before. So if you think there's a product that I, it is a must have and I am missing out, please let me know in the comments below. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to ask or let me know what's on your mind. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, um, today's errand running day. You can see my husband unloading a mountain bike out of the back of the car. This is another reason why we have a humongous car.